vocal. Sometimes I'm not Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hey. Put that lipstick. Bless up. This is Mr. Roland McDermott representing for DUI TV. One love. Bless up. Every time. Still doing music. <laughs> so you don't want to tell us what you're working on? Well, nothing special at the moment. Okay. Yeah. But like working with other people, for this year I work with Yanni Sador from Paris. Yanni Sador? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, a record album produced by Clive Hunt. Father Clive! Yeah. And we do some other island artists. I don't really remember the, remember their name. A guy from French Guyana. Wow. Yeah. We're doing music, man. Um, still, still rec well, I tell you that, still recording, mixing, same thing. You smiling? Yeah, I want to know which one you smiling yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> nothing, nothing special as yet, but some, something cooking, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Steaming or frying? It's more steaming. Steaming, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. See, this is how you have to do it, rolling on you, you have to, it's not, you know, you, you have to be good, or else, you don't have to, what's up with Boxy? Come on Boxy, they are doing his thing same way, very talented youth in the engineering thing same way, you know, he's in between Tads and Tough Gun, doing his thing. I was just going to ask you about Tough Gun. Come on, Tough Gun still going on strong, better than before. It was, I was there right through the pan pandemic working mostly, well, every day. It was really busy. So the studio was open during yeah, COVID? Yeah, yeah, man. Wow. <laughs> you heard it first on BYTV. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, you know, in the first part of the lockdown, two, three months, but like, we just get up and just decide we're going to work in. Yeah. Well, of course, you know, we were doing some work with Nike Spice. He, he recorded like a gospel album wow. to be really to be released and some other more things he's doing. Yeah. So Bossy is always at Top Gun? He's in between Tads and Top Gun. Right. Yeah. We just we just um interviewed TJ the other day, he passed through with Tanya. Yeah. Just a couple of days before the album Tanya album dropped. Okay. With Kelly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man. So, yeah, Top Gun. It went through a whole change at some point, right? And no, no change, it's just sometimes, you know, it's studio. Yeah. Sometimes the economy is not where it should, you know? Give thanks to money. Yes, I really. 20 years. It's going to make 20 years, um, sorry, 20 years next year, actually, 2024, since yeah. we linked. Yeah. Tough Gun? Yeah, man, Tough Gun is always going to be Tough Gun. Good sound in the same way, even better now than before. And they are upgrading equipment and stuff. Equipment like upgrading there, you know? Nice. And, uh, that's a real university for the music. Yeah, the sound is yeah, special. Yeah. The, 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 I guess the structure of the... And I guess it's one of the biggest recording studios for live bands. In the, in the Caribbean. Live. In the Caribbean. Wow. Yeah. I mean, people from all over the world still come here. So they still need that song. So. Yeah. A very... You know, as I say, it's a university for music. Not only reggae, but for music. And know? the vibe is mystical as yeah, well. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. where Bob recorded some of his tracks, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Mm. So who you'd like to work with, who you never worked with? Oh, tough question, empty. Yeah, that's a very tough question. I mean, yeah. every, every artist deserves a try and deserves to be worked with. But 
who you never had a chance to work with because just you know timing was and you be like general no would have lost to work with his brother. Well I work with most most artists in the business. You know? It's just like personality wise is you know. But the younger one them, they are good. The younger one them going on. The older one them are really they teach us they teach us a lot and we learn from them. So yeah. we still have to pass on the message to the younger one. You know? so who's your favorite artist of all time? That's a very hard that's a very hard question. <laughs> Very, very. Drink some wine. <laughs> Drink some wine. You must. <laughs> of all time. It's setting me up right there, man. <laughs> no, I mean, when you were a kid, you know, and growing up, and you heard that artist and gave you the, 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 the feeling, the energy to want to be in a music. How did you get in the music? I never asked that. Oh, you know, I get in the music through Clive. Clive on. Father Clive. Yeah, Father Clive. Yeah. Because you know, one day while I was going to school, we we come from the same community in St. Catherine. So I was going to school one day. Luckily, I never had other exam that day, and he offered me a drive to school, but he didn't bring you to school. No, no, no. The <laughs> conversation while we were driving, we were talking. And the conversation get deep and deep in the music and so actually a pass must stop we are supposed to come out so we ended up at the studio and while I reached the studio it looked really it looked really good you didn't want to leave it was really interesting and he, was, he asked a question like you like this thing I can can make you learn it quick and become you know become a gentleman in it. I say really at least I give it a thought for like three months. And he, he's 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 a charisma alive in yeah, the yeah. studio you know yeah, he yeah. puts his entire soul into it. I, I mean like he's a great teacher but it must have been a journey you know this one, great, great journey. <laughs> Give thanks to Clive, Clive on, Wonson, Errol Brown no. and Shane Brown. Yeah. You know, they are the ones who really teach me this thing. You must have been in Tim. How old were you then? Only 18, 19. Wow. Because yeah. I mean, Clive Hunt is a legend. He's responsible for Gregory Isaac, Dennis Brown, and <laughs> so much more albums and the Berry Salmon in control and he can play every instrument more or less, right? Come on, Clive is a, is a, I just said a le legend in the, in the music, you know? Yeah. You work with everybody. everybody. Stevie Wan and Shaka Khan. You know, Clive told me the first time he went in the States, it was to mix Rolling Stones album. Exactly. He was 18 years old. Yeah. yeah. That must have been like a mad experience as well. So this whole music journey for you rolling. I'm going to another hard question. <laughs> you didn't give me the answer on who's your favorite artist of all time. As I said that one is very hard to growing up. In, like yeah, yeah, one of yeah. your inspiration. You can give me three names if you can't pull out one. Bob Marley is one of course. Yeah, and growing up, like a lot of artists, man. Um, I know even as a youth, like even 11, 12, sat there was a day when your mother served soup, so you watch the TV. It's still, still like a man like Luton and Stitchy with various size. Them video, they, they couldn't miss them video when you're young. <laughs> Yeah, the video there. So you still have super cat. Yeah, so and then only for a lot of artists still. So you say Bob Marley, Luton and Stitchy, Super Cat. We 
as a youth, you hear them. Yeah. They give them, you the, 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 yeah, the energy yeah, to yeah, want to, to yeah, build a trap. Yeah. And of course, not only record, like, we still use the Bible with the cassette. Wow. Used to buy a little cassette and you stop some elder, you sell and you say, who is someone stitchy DJ and it's a stereo one. You buy a stereo one cassette and you play it. <laughs> Ask someone with old super cap. And you tell a Kilimanjaro. So you need this Kilimanjaro, you still hear all some voice like I'm a mouth. <laughs> you see it? Yeah, man. Some, some bad lyrics here. Uh, you know? You still have Papa Son. Great. So, um, a great artist, them artists, them artists. Yeah, they yeah. open the doors yeah. for the, the rest to come. They set a, yeah. a high standard. Still have some artists like Major Worries. Great artist them, you know? Yeah man. Rolly in Aston Martin right here at Sandbar. He's in transit. <laughs> you know, because we have this thing with um, DYTV, with Raga Art called In Transit Session. Because we have musicians and artists always passing through St. Martin and sometimes not getting the time to touch base. Wow. And just, you know. Well, I'm not passing through St. Martin. Day, I mean, it was you the other day who told me you have someone coming through in transit. You have a friend passing through in transit in St. Martin. I don't remember who that. I don't think so. No? Mm -hmm. I can't remember who. <laughs> music, music is going, man. And you know, you, you contribute a lot to it, you know, because you still contribute to some 2000, 2010 coming up. You contribute heavily to it, make it play, you know? Yeah. Especially notice, big up notice. Big up notice, <laughs> always. You yeah, know, man, we were in family. studio, actually, I was in studio with Unga them Friday night. Me, Hunga, Welch, Yellow, Aston Barrett Jr. It's a very great session, man. Jesse, Jesse Ryan. Yeah. I really love Jesse vibe and music since Ryan was speaking. We were just talking about this mixtape with Walsh a couple of days ago. The way it all, you know, was put together and everything. I love his vibe. I definitely love the music and even Unga back then and Roly in the building. Well, thanks Roly. You give us yeah, enough, 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 <laughs> enough information. Okay. Yes, <laughs> and I'm sure there are certain things you said didn't really know that those artists, you know, when you're just three until tonight and you realize through I asked you the question. Not sure. Yeah, because you know as you grow, you know, you love as you grow up. You love different different artists and like I don't know but sometimes even growing up I have a cousin named Richie. Like even before I go in music, I would hear a song like one time and I would tell Richie that is a hit song. Yeah, your and, ear is sharp. Yeah, so even now we know the artists and I, you know, but sometimes it even for the past few years it kind of still identify it but still it's good because sometimes now you have a hit song just because it plays a lot on the radio this is a hit song but a real hit song is a song that you hear once and you can't mm -hmm. get it out of your head that's it yeah it's been well I've as quick as the song may be, you know, I mean, if some people judge it song different, but like for me, the song it from the first part, the second. Yeah, 20 seconds. <laughs> if the, in yeah. radio, when yeah. I was on the radio, that's how it is. If the 30 seconds, the first 30 seconds of the song not catching me, yeah. next. Yeah. And it's okay. a reality that few people talk about, but 
sometimes the chop, the intro too long, uh, you know, the chop have to pick up quick because uh, else people don't really take time to listen to the whole second verse to catch up. It's a, it, it is a hit, man. I mean, from yeah. here at first, you know. Yeah, yeah that yeah. is, yeah. For real. I think that is what some of them, the younger, the, the generation now, that is coming up. I think that is what they need to identify, they need to know, get, yeah. get that, you know, writing skill, melody and everything, and come yeah. the right way. Well, yeah. organic music right now, I think Jamaica is one of the last, maybe, in the music industry worldwide to still have that organic sound and that authentic music coming out. I mean, anybody with a laptop can make a rhythm now. Not true. Yeah, people do. Anybody yeah. make. Even my son make. Even my son can make a rhythm right now. <laughs> yeah, anybody make a rhythm, and you know. But it, it, it still needs supervision. You know. Yeah. Still need. Mixing and mastering. Yeah, it and still need a arranger to listen the song and say, hey, this. You understand? Yeah. I remember. What they are doing is a loop. Yeah. Yeah, so it's still. Or sample something that they like exactly. in a one rhythm and just loop. Yeah. So the, stuff, the song still need a bridge, it still need a solo, yeah. it still need a, a good in, a good intro. <laughs> which, you know? Yeah. yeah. The last time I was in Jamaica, I went by Clive. Yeah. Halfway three at the studio. And he was in session with Christopher Martin, and I sat on the couch. And a couple seconds after the track, um, he was voicing the track. I went back outside, and Clive followed me, saying, "Manny, what happened?" And I was trying to hide my tears, you know. And Clive was like, "No, no, I need to know this. This is good." Can I get a phone? Thanks. This is good. This is direct feedback. Because if you can walk in the studio while the artist is voicing the truck and you can feel the truck already and the truck makes you cry within 20 seconds you went in the studio, my was like, all right, you go back, you'll voice it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, man. That's our spirit, man, you know? Yeah. And the spirit lives within. I really love Christopher Martin's vocals. I, I think, yeah, since Big Yap days, you know, with DJ Q on, on, on the Big Yap camp back in the day, right? Yeah, man, that's how I heard Christopher Martin the first time. And man, I think up, he's the future of Lovers Rock. King big up Chris Martin. Man. Yeah, big, big up, up Chris King Martin and King. I love you vocals. Um, Christopher Ellis as well. For yeah. Lovers Rock, I think... They have a, a special tone. Uh, yeah, the future of love is rock. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, that's <laughs> it, cuts. <laughs> <laughs>